What I'm going to show you here are something that are designed in a similar fashion to a soji door. They are framed out and I put a mullion down the middle. So it's like two frames on each sliding door. There's tracks on the top and the bottom that I use. And then I print the images to fit and put them on the back side. They're just as beautiful from the inside as they are from the outside and they work the same way that all the other image concealment films work. I made a video a while back and posted it up to this YouTube channel which you can look at to see actually how this sliding glass door works. They slide in front of each other and back of each other depending on how you set it up, uh, but they overlap and you can push them out of the way. In this particular one you can push the screen off to the left side and pretty much get the entire sliding glass door in view. Here are a couple of photographs of the lower part of the tracking system. I also include a plastic slider or a glider that helps these doors slide smoothly back and forth and I've had mine up for over 10 years without any problems. Here's a shot of the upper part of the tracking system. There's no gliders in there. It's unnecessary. The doors don't even hit the top track. They are just held in place with the tracking system itself. With this tracking system, the base part, the part that's on the floor, is actually attached to the floor. I attach that wood to the floor to keep a low profile so you're not tripping on it when you walk outside the door. The top part is an extension off of the wall to hold the doors in place. I'm going to guess it sticks out about to the max four inches, so it's probably as low a profile as a typical drape may be. As for the frame and the kind of wood that is used, you can use any kind of wood you want. I use birch plywood, oak plywood, and wormy chestnut. The plywood has to be banded to make it look nice. But remember, plywood doesn't move, doesn't warp, and as for the wormy chestnut, it was over 100 years old, so I knew that wasn't going to be moving either. But that's something to take into consideration if you decide to build one of these. This last sliding door concealment film screen over a sliding glass door was themed after Africa when I took a trip there. This image is from a Delta area in Botswana. The previous scenes, one was from Utah uh, Canyon that I was in and photographed, and the other one was from upstate New York during the fall with all these gorgeous uh, texture and leaves, which I converted into a black and white for this particular use. So you see, I have pretty much made photographs that I've taken from around the world in a very practical way and also large. So it really says something about what I've done in my life. If you're interested in doing this in your home, I can send you the directions on how to build the sliding door frames. And if you pick an image of your own, make sure that it is very large and in a square format. I have several images that are already prepared for this on my website. I will leave all the links for these things in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. I post a video every Friday. Thank you.